Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video let us talk about calculation of Young's modulus of given beam by uniform bending method. A beam is a rod or bar of uniform cross section whose length is very much greater than its thickness. Young's modulus y, modulus of elasticity, is equal to the longitudinal stress divided by the strain. Or, a measure of the ability of a material to withstand changes in length when it is placed under lengthwise tension or compression. The formula for Young's modulus is given here. In this page, I have given the difference between the uniform bending and non-uniform bending. In uniform bending, every element of the beam is bent with the same radius of curvature. But in non-uniform bending, radius of curvature is not the same for all the elements in the beam. Here beam is loaded uniformly on its both ends. But in the other case, beam load is not constant. The third difference is beam is elevated due to load. But in non-uniform bending beam is depressed due to load. Next, the explanation for the Young's modulus formula is given here. As well the Amrita virtual lab link for uniform bending is given. Let us click and go to that website. Now we are on the uniform bending virtual link page. Firstly, we have to set the variables. Let me select the environment as earth. Material as wood. Then mass of weight hanger. Let us start with 50 gram. We have two hangers, so each 50 gram. Breadth of the scale as 2 cm. Thickness of bar as 0.5 cm. If you see the scale here, each line is 5 cm. Next the weight hanger's distance, I am going to keep 70 here. That is from the needle, the hanger distance is 35 cm, or the distance between the weight hangers is 70 cm. As well the distance between the two knife edges is 40 cm. Or from the needle position each knife edge is at 20 cm. In addition, the distance between the knife edge and the weight hanger is 15 cm. Now all set. Let us start to take readings. Here we are going to use the vertical scale of the traveling microscope. And the zoomed view of needle is given here. Let us align the needle position with the cross wire of the microscope by adjusting the top screw. See the needle position here and adjust the screw. Now I am going to adjust the screw. I keep doing. Then pin is getting down and now the tip is at the center of the cross wire. Let me stop here and note down the reading. We have two scales, main scale and vernier scale. First is main scale reading. It is 5.05. .05. Then vernier scale reading. Here I got 20. So main scale reading is 5.05 .05 and vernier scale reading is 20. Next I am going to increase the hanger weight from 50 to 100 gram. And just watch the needle position. It has been moved up. So again align the tip of needle to the center of the cross wire and note down the reading. The main scale reading is 5.1. Since it just crossed the 5.1. Vernier scale reading is 38. I am going to repeat the same procedure with the mass of weight hanger as 150 gram. Again, let us check the tip of needle position. It is up here. So rotate the screw to keep the tip at the center of the cross wire and note down the reading. The main scale reading is 5.2 and the vernier coincidence is 3. That is main scale is 5.2 and the vernier coincidence is 3. Let me change the hanger weight as 200 grams. 
and repeat the same. Here to find the mean scale reading, let us check it this is 5.25. So mean scale reading is 5.25 and the vernier coincidence is 7. Now I have changed the weight hanger mass as 250 grams. Make the pin to coincide with the cross wire. And note down the main scale reading. It is 5.3 and the vernier scale reading is 39. So far we have done all loading part. And entered all reading in the table. W represents 50 grams as well W plus 50 equals 100 grams W plus 100 is 150 grams W plus 150 is 200 grams the last one is W plus 200 equals 250 grams then I am going to continue the second part that is unloading this time we are going to enter the reading from the bottom just copy the W plus 200 grams reading same here. Now let us move on to W plus 150 grams unloading. Now let us set the hanger weight as 200 grams. Adjust the pin position but this time we need to rotate the screw in clockwise direction. And the main scale reading is 5.25, vernier coincidence is 18. Again said the hanger weight is 150 grams. Align the tip of the pin at the center of the cross wire. Let me note down the main scale reading as 5.2 and the vernier coincidence is 7. Next the hanger weight is 100 grams. Hence the main scale reading is 5.1 and the vernier reading is 30. The last one is 50 grams. Here the main scale reading is 5.05 and the coincidence is 19. Let me enter all reading in the table. To find total reading, multiply vernier coincidence by least count and add the results with the main scale reading. Next step is calculating average of total reading. To find depression value, subtract W from W plus 100. As well the second value is obtained by subtracting W plus 50 from W plus 100. Third value is found by subtracting W plus 100 from W plus 200. Now we have three depression values. Average depression E equals 0 0.133 times 10 power minus 2 meter. Now let us substitute all values in Young's modulus formula. Before that calculate the moment of inertia of the wooden beam, it is I equals 2.083 times 10 power minus 10. Therefore the Young's modulus of the wooden beam is evaluated as Y equals 1.062 times 10 power 10 newton per meter square. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thanks for watching.